recently this has been probably the most highly requested area when y'all are calling in to me a ton of you are asking about this specific community which is called woodson's reserve we are standing inside of a toll brothers home which i'm going to show you second in this video this place is amazing you see this massive kitchen my favorite things and a lot of y'all's favorite things when you reach out to me is these huge sliding glass doors they open all the way up out there to that pool there's an outdoor kitchen back there too which you'll see as we walk through this house but we have this two story we're going to look at but first right next door there's a one story that we're going to look at also and they're in two different price points so that's why I chose this community specifically is because you get a really good idea of what's out there um, in these two price ranges and you can kind of compare a two story home versus a one story home. And keep in mind too, as we go through this, Toll Brothers builds all around Houston. So if you like these homes and as I go through this video and I'm showing you this area, if you're not fond of the area, if you want to be somewhere else like Cypress, Katy, Sugarland, Pearland, wherever you want to be, uh, reach out and we can find these homes pretty much all around Houston. So keep that in mind too. But for the sake of this video, really gonna be heavily focused on these two houses. So you got the two story we just walked out of, the one story we're gonna check out first right here next door. We're gonna focus on these houses and we're gonna focus on the amenities here in this community, which I'm going to show you as well. I'm also gonna pull up a map. So obviously if you're not from here, you're not familiar with you know how far it is to get to downtown, how far is it to the woodlands, how far is it to the airport or all these different kind of destination areas, if you will. So I'm gonna show you all of that. And then I'm gonna really dive into, we're gonna zoom into this specific area, things to do, restaurants, places to shop, your dining, your entertainment, basically what your lifestyle is gonna be like right here living in Woodson's Reserve. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up some of the schools that this area is zoned to. So it's a big question I get from a lot of people I'm not allowed to steer, so I can't tell you good or bad, blah, 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 but I'm gonna pull it up for you and I'm gonna show you exactly what the school ratings are right here in this community. So let's go ahead right here. We're gonna jump into this one story home. Let's get inside this. All right, so here we are outside of this beautiful one story home. You can see right here to the left, that's actually the 45 foot model. Um, it wasn't done yet, I walked through it. They still need cabinets and appliances and everything, so I couldn't get a good video of it. You also got the 60 foot that we're gonna check out next there to the right. Um, but going first into this 50 foot one story model. So this, as you saw right there on the right, this is called the Lavaca plan. This can be built with four bedrooms, three to three and a half bathrooms, two car garage, and it starts just about 2,500 square feet. But coming in, you see this beautiful vaulted ceiling entryway. And then just to the left here, you have kind of a secondary primary. So really awesome, a ton of space in this house, even though it's a one story at about 2,500 square feet, a lot of space. And you'll see as we walk through it, really really thoughtful layout here so you have this first secondary primary you got your bedroom here it's got an attached full bathroom so you see you have your sink vanity area to the right you have a shower tub combo and then just beyond that you have the walk-in closet so again you know if you have a kid a maybe mother-in-law whoever you have living with you that would like their own space their own private bathroom really really great having that kind of tucked away up here in the front of the home too so you can see right there you have a little coat closet also um, to the right that's just the garage entry so if you parked in the two-car garage you'd enter right here into this entryway and you have this private office slash flex room maybe a formal dining room whatever you want to use it for vaulted ceilings with those wood beams really really pretty and really great size to it and, you know it's always hard to show through these videos but there's actually a pretty big room in here. You can see how wide those chairs are and you still have room to walk around on each side. And then coming back out, this is where it opens up to your living, dining, and kitchen area, which I'm gonna get to in a second. Just wanna show you all this really quickly. And then turning around to the right, we're kinda still in this entryway. You have your two more bedrooms, a full bath, and your laundry down this hallway. So right here to the right, you have your full bathroom. So this would be shared between these two bedrooms that are on this hallway. Really great tile there, shower tub combo, single sink vanity. Across the hall, you have your laundry room. So you can see a ton of storage space overhead. Nice little workstation right there above the washer dryer and then additional countertop space there off to the left as well. 
and then coming to the end of this hallway you have your two bedrooms so your first bedroom here to the left this is actually the second bedroom we're looking at in this home this is a four bedroom home so again really good size these are in both of these rooms is probably about a queen size bed you can see plenty of room for a nice big dresser side tables third bedroom in the home same thing really good size rooms here um, i love the windows too as you see as we walk through this house there's just windows everywhere letting in a ton of natural light makes the whole space feel much bigger more airy um, really really great how they use the natural light in these homes and then obviously boom you come out here into this great room you have your family room there your dining room and then your kitchen area so nice big oversized islands um, nice pendant lighting coming this way you have your gas cooktop so five burner cooktop there you have your oven microwave and then you have an additional little butler or dry bar area off to the right and then a big walk-in pantry which was locked for some reason so i couldn't get in there but you can see right there through that glass door and again this is kind of just your look i love this shot i always do this just kind of looking out you know if you're washing dishes you're cooking you got people entertaining you know you'll have people there in the dining room maybe your family's over there in the living room watching tv or out on that patio hanging out you can kind of see everywhere so it makes everyone feel like they're part of the scene or entertainment or whatever you have going on but coming over this way we can kind of look you have the primary suite right there to the right just off of this living area you can see beautiful fireplace you have those kind of open built-in shelves on either side of that fireplace big tv right there in the center and then these huge glass sliding doors this is actually one of the most requested things we get is adding those big sliding doors that open up all the way across and open to that patio which i'll show you here in a second but we're going to go check out this primary suite first so coming in again you can see the tall ceilings throughout this entire house you got those wood beams up there that's probably a king california king size bed it was huge so you can see how much space you have in these primary bedrooms you got room for a little seating area next to this window nice dresser maybe a tv on the wall instead of that big mirror plenty of room for your side tables and then coming into this primary bathroom so you can see you got double sinks there nice kind of vanity area right there in the middle and then this huge walk-in shower this again with the video it can't really do it justice um, but that thing was massive and then coming over here you actually have two separate walk-in closets so another look at those double sinks there in that vanity area you have one walk-in closet on this side this is the smaller of the two believe it or not <laughs> but coming back out this way when you come around where you walked in to the opposite side of the shower you have your toilet room there the king's throne and then you get into this big walk-in closet on this side so you know you got to decide who gets which closet um, I think we all know which way that goes <laughs> but coming back out here you have this linen closet here right when you walked in I don't think I showed you that yet but you have that linen closet again coming through your primary walking back outside we're gonna go check out the backyard so you kind of walk out of your primary right here into this living space and then we're gonna open up these sliders too so you can see what I mean this thing is really cool kind of standard way this comes would just be your normal entry or um, door going out there you have some windows here this is an upgrade to add these sliders in here um, but everybody's doing it everyone loves how open it creates this space so if you're entertaining you're having a party people that are outside you feel like you're inside if you're inside you feel like you're outside it's a really great option and then you have this extended covered patio you can see it's really nice that they kind of open that top part up because you keep that light coming in through those sliders into that living room it doesn't block anything um, and then they have this thing set up really nicely out here you have your gas fire pit there and it's a really good sized yard so again this is a 50 foot lot but as you can see you know they have this additional space over here this turf area with all these toys you got your i always forget what this is called and i play it all the time the beanbag toss i can't remember right now but you got that and then one last look back at this home just beautiful beautiful property all right i mean after walking through these one stories i always say i might be a one story person but i love this little covered patio area this whole yard these big sliding glass doors coming in here into this um, living room this is one of my favorite floor plans i think i've walked here recently but here we go let's go ahead and walk over here to the kitchen and check out the price list on this series so this collection is called the cypress collection we'll go ahead and turn you around here okay so first place we'll start on this one this is the lavaca floor plan so as you can see there's 
a few different options here. You have the traditional, transitional, modern. You're starting around 515 essentially on this Lavaca plan. You can see it's four bed, three to three and a half baths, depending on if you add an additional half bath, two car garage, one story, basically right around 25 plus square feet, 2,500 plus square feet. Um, but starting on this Cypress collection, you can see down here, you have the Patricia plan, which is starting right here at basically 445. The Bandera plan is starting at 455. The Bautista, which is a two story, starting around 475. You have the Tamara starting around 490. And then you have the Atom starting around 528. So plenty of different options. You can see some of these are two story. They all have two car garage. You know, over here you have three to four bedrooms, four to five bedrooms over here on the Atom and the Tamara three to four and a half bathrooms, plenty of options right here to build pretty much whatever you want all around this, you know, high mid fours to 500, low 500 range. So if you're looking in this kind of mid fours to low 500 range, this Cypress collection is a great option. And as you can see, Toll just builds a beautiful, beautiful quality house, really good options here. But let's go ahead. We're going to go back to my office for a second. And I'm going to pull up a map. I'm going to show you kind of some things to do around the area, show you where we're at, um, and then show you some of the amenities as well um, right here in Woodson's Reserve. So I'll see you at my house. Okay, so where are we at, right? What is this location? Where are we at in Houston? I'm going to show you right here on this map. So as you see, it's a little red spot here. We are in Woodson's Reserve. This is straight north of downtown Houston, as you can see minutes from the woodlands so a huge draw to this entire area right here you know they just finished building out this 99 highway so we're getting a lot of new construction in between these older like major highways that run north south right here so woodsons is one of them you have the highlands you have porter heights ton of new construction right here you can see you got conroe up here on this north side tomball cypress katie um, but the main thing we want to point out is this area and everything to do right here so obviously you know if we zoom in here like i said we're close to the woodlands so we'll go ahead and pull this up let's see how far we are to the woodlands so this is from my location i live in kingwood by the way if you ever are wondering about kingwood go ahead and reach out to me <laughs> i can talk all day about kingwood but we'll go from woodson's reserve we'll say to the woodlands mall see how far that is so right now you're 17 minutes to the woodlands mall so really really awesome being i mean 15 minutes away is amazing because i mean honestly you can be like back here in the back of the woodlands and you're still 10 15 minutes depending on how many lights you hit getting down woodlands parkway to the mall <laughs> so being right off 99 and 45 two major highways um straight shot really really easy to get there um, another thing a lot of people call me about too is especially when they want to be on this north side if you're from out of state like me i'm from california um, we wanted to be you can see this blue dot where i live we wanted to be close to the airport because we knew we were going to have family um, flying in and out of town we knew we were going to be flying back to california going on vacation now that's the cool thing about bush airport or houston in general is we can kind of get anywhere we go to florida often now uh, we can get to LA whenever we need to see family. LA, I mean, our LA family can come visit here and you're kind of right in this little central hub and it's a major airport too. So pretty much every airline flies out of Bush Airport. So from Woodson's, we'll go over here, see how long it'll take you to get to the airport. And boom, you're 21 minutes right down here to the airport. And a cool thing too, I always point this out or I always try to when I remember, um, the cool thing about Houston is you can see you have this route right here, you have another route here, you have another route here, pretty much anywhere you are in Houston. As you can see how these roads are set up, you have this 610 loop, you have your Beltway 8 loop, and then you have your big 99 loop that I was talking about. It's basically like a spider web of highways. So you have all these other highways that are coming in and out of town. So there's a ton of different ways to get anywhere that you need to get to within Houston. So there's really hardly ever any traffic. And if you ask a native Houstonian about traffic, they're gonna tell you it's terrible. I'm from Los Angeles. So the traffic here, I can just put it out there. Nothing compared to LA, Orange County, which is where I'm from. So when I'm here in Houston and people are saying, oh my God, there's so much traffic. The main difference is the traffic here actually moves. Like it's very rare that you're just like sitting in one spot on the freeway like I would be in LA. 
Here, yeah, you do hit traffic every now and then, but it's usually always moving and it's usually only for a few miles at a time. You know, from, I lived in Orange County, I worked in LA. I mean, I was in traffic from LA all the way through to like Long Beach and it, it was like on the map, it's like 12 miles and it took me like an hour to get to Long Beach. It was crazy, but not that bad here in Houston. Um, let's go ahead and go back here. You know, we'll say, since we're talking about getting into downtown Houston from Woodson's, you're 34 minutes right here into downtown. You know, and the other thing too, does it say how far? It's 30 miles. So you're talking about 30 miles in 34 minutes. That's like unheard of where I'm from. So again, not too much traffic, really great. 34 minutes to downtown. We already looked, it was about 17 minutes to the Woodlands, about 20 minutes, I think it was to the airport. Not bad at all. We are, so you see on this map, if you're thinking about moving to this north side, obviously the further north you are, the further away you're gonna be from the Gulf Coast down here. So if you're trying to get down to Galveston to go to the beach, it really is a day trip. So you gotta be prepared to go early, kind of hang out for the day and then drive back home in the evening. Or what a lot of people do, like our friends and stuff, they'll go down there and just get an Airbnb or stay the night somewhere. So we can check that out too. If you want to get down to Galveston Island, for example, it's about an hour and a half, which I've done it several times before and it's it's an hour and a half. I've actually had it take longer because there was an accident down here and it took forever to get down here in this last little bit getting over onto the island. But from Woodson's down there, you're 85 miles, an hour and a half, and check 85 miles. <laughs> and remember, if you're, again, from Southern California like I am, this gives you an idea of how massive Houston really is, like the footprint of Houston. A lot of people don't realize until they get out here. Um, you know, from right here, from Woodson's down there, you're 85, we'll call it 90 miles. And then, I mean, Houston basically runs, you have this entire area going out to Katy, Waller, Magnolia, Montgomery, Conroe, Willis, Cleveland. So you're talking about like a, a legit 80 mile circumference from basically downtown all the way around Houston. So if you're thinking about making your trip out here to visit a few different areas in mind that you're looking at, like say you like Kingwood or you like the Woodlands or you're up here at Conroe area, but you're like, but I also want to see like Friendswood or Pearland or Sugarland. You got to realize those are like an hour plus away from each other. So you can do it, but you wanna make sure you have enough time planned out on your trip to really get a good idea of the lifestyle that you, you wanna feel in these areas to make sure that you actually like or would like living in these areas, right? So quick little side note there, but back to up here. Kind of your main things, right? We talked about the airport, the woodlands, getting to downtown, getting to the beach, um, and then we'll zoom in real quick too and kind of show you the things that are right here in the general vicinity. So when we talk about getting over here to the woodlands, you have the Woodlands Mall. That's really this whole Woodlands Mall, Market Street, the waterway. That's kind of the big draw to this area. You have the lake, um, you have your little nature preserve and everything back here too. But most of the time, if you're out for, you know, fancy shopping, fancy dining, you're gonna be coming over here to the Woodlands. It, it's amazing, it really is. You have Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion, which is a concert venue. So we've been there several times. It is super cool. It's basically, Again, I'm gonna compare everything to LA because that's where I'm from. It's basically our version of the Hollywood Bowl. So you can see you have your main like seating area, which is under this covered area. So if it rains, you don't gotta worry about it. And then you have this big grass area back here as well. So really cool concert venue. Um, and then when you're right there, you're pretty much right on the, you can see it's right next to the waterway. So you can walk down there, it's all lit up. It's actually really, really pretty. You got the mall. Pretty much like any other mall, it's huge, I'll tell you that. But so you got, you know, your Apple store, your department stores, Nordstrom, all that stuff is right here that you would need. And then right back here, you have what's called Market Street. So Market Street has kind of your more high-end um, boutique style stores right here. Really, really great restaurants. And then it's got this um, big like courtyard area also out here. So I'm gonna show you some of these pictures real quick. Let's see if there's any, again, these are just random like Google photos. So it's just random stuff on here. Not really any cool pictures on here. Here's a, actually a good picture of the waterway right there. But anyway, you got Market Street, bunch of shopping, bunch of dining right there. And again, as we saw, that was about 17 minutes away. But going over here back to Woodson's Reserve, which is right here, you have multiple shopping centers very close by. So the closest one obviously is right here. So you have a huge Regal Cinemas right here. See the outside of this place is actually pretty cool. I've been there with uh, my family a few times. 
really, really nice state state of the art movie theater. They have like the whole, I mean, I'm not into it. Some people are, but I know they have one of those sections with like the speakers in the seats and all that crazy stuff. <laughs> so if you're into that, you can check it out right here at this movie theater. And then you have this entire shopping center. Um, so a bunch of restaurants, you have your Kroger, which is the grocery store. Uh, one of your kind of more popular spots is right over here. It never pops up. I always got to zoom like way in and then I can never find it. Here, let me just type it in. One of your more popular spots is right here. It's Woodson's local bar, um, local kitchen. Really, I'm actually going this Friday for one of our friend's birthdays. He, he likes to go here anytime it's his birthday or he wants to do something. He's always like, let's go to Woodson's. <laughs> so I'm going to be here this Friday night um, for one of our friend's birthday. So it's kind of like your more American type restaurant. They got, you know, a pretty good bar, a bunch of beer on on tap a massive excessively big <laughs> pretzel right there served with some cheese but you know you got your crawfish too when it's crawfish season um pretty i mean looks like jalapeno nachos that picture's all messed up but there you go so i mean you can kind of see here just your standard um bar and tap really cool place just to kind of go hang out with some friends and, and check that out but as you can see you're right here right across the street right across highway 99 to get to all of this stuff and then right down here, you have your HEB, um, a whole, you know, LA Fitness, Republic Grill, Indian Kitchen right here. Um, just pretty much anything you need is all right here. You got Walmart, Chick-fil-A, there's a bunch of other like fast food restaurants and things like that too, all in this area. And then zooming out, you also have, so that's kind of, you know, like we said, here's Woodson's Reserve. You have this area here, you have the woodlands up here. And then there's also on this side, as I mentioned, there's a bunch of new construction going on over here. And this is kind of your newest commercial area, which is right here. It's called the Valley Ranch Town Center. So you have Hobby Lobby, um, you have Academy Sports, you have Target, Victoria's Secret, Home Goods, Party City, basically all of your anchor, like big name brand places right here. And then you have a ton of restaurants that all kind of run the outskirts of this whole shopping center. So you have Saltgrass, Potle, Gringos, Mexican. These are more of like your sit down areas. And as you get over here to this section, you have more of your fast food places. So Panda Express, Toasted Yolk, Freddy's. Um, there's a Mod Pizza right here. Um, there's Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, Kung Fu Tea. There's like a, a Shogun, which is basically like a, um, where they cook everything right there in front of you. I can't think of a name right now, like a Benihana type place. Um, but as you can see, that's super, super close to Woodson's Reserve also right here. So depending on, you know, whether you take I-45 going down this way to get down into Houston, maybe you come this way and take 59 down this way, or you're trying to get to New Caney, there's plenty of options for shopping dining and entertainment pretty much everywhere around this area. I know I said I was gonna do the amenities also, but that section got a little bit longer than what I wanted it to be. So I'm actually gonna add the amenities on the back end of this when we talk about schools, because both of those will be fairly quick. So I'm gonna put those on the back, but first we're gonna go check out this second house, the two-story house, which is absolutely beautiful. Before we jump over there though, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're getting any value out of this, you like that first home, you like what I'm showing you on the computer, the map, and all the work I'm putting into this, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. It actually helps me out a ton. It's crazy how much that one like works and is pushing out my videos and my content so much more recently because you guys are doing that for me. So if you wanna support, and you know, if you're watching this and you're like, man, I like this guy or I like all this stuff, but you're not ready to buy yet when you're trying to support me, hit the like button, I appreciate it. But let's go ahead, we're gonna check out this second house right now. And again, if you're moving to the area, you wanna chit chat, I appreciate all the support you guys have given me so far and you guys are really starting to blow up my channel and it's been amazing to see and amazing to experience and I'm so appreciative of it, so appreciative of it. <laughs> but let's go ahead, check out this second house, I'll see you over there. Okay, so here's this two story you've been waiting for. I love this floor plan. You can see you got that one story we already looked at next door. And then to the right, you actually have your TriPoint models over here on this side too. So you have Toll Brothers and TriPoint here. This is the Hardy floor plan. This one is amazing. One of my favorite things about it is it's a four bedroom and each bedroom has its own attached ensuite, which is awesome. And the Hardy can be built with four to five bedrooms, three to four and a half bathrooms. It's got a three car garage and it starts right about 3,450 square feet. So coming in, 
everybody loves that spiral staircase just kind of this grand entrance looks up there to that game room which there's actually a media room up there also but you come in you have this staircase to the left you're going to have your office right there which i'll show you in a minute but you're going to have your first bedroom up here towards the front of the home so very similar to that one story home very common actually to here in houston to have a kind of a secondary suite tucked away in the front of the home away from the primary suite so that's what this is you can see really good size room then you have your attached bathroom here so single sink but um, plenty of countertop space on either side nice big tiled shower tub combo and then a big walk-in closet and that's the thing with these homes is you got to be careful because if you have people coming to visit and you set them up in this room here they might not leave <laughs> so you got to be careful with some of these houses out here but beautiful secondary suite right up here towards the front and as you can see that looks out towards that front yard there and then coming back out into this entryway again you have that office space here off to the left you know it could be an office flex room game room you know whatever you wanted to use it for um, it's always nice having that additional space up here towards the front of the home and then coming back obviously you can see the front door and this is your main entryway and now you're kind of getting over into your main home if you will so this is your obviously your living kitchen dining area back there just beautiful it's got those huge sliders real quick to the right though we have a half bathroom right here so as i mentioned this one has four and a half bathrooms it's four beds every bedroom has a full bathroom and then this is your half bathroom here for entertaining purposes you know if you have people over they don't need to go into one of your bedrooms to use the restroom beautiful fireplace you got that tile all the way up to the ceiling and then this is again everyone's favorite you got these huge sliders looking out there towards that pool in the back there's a nice kitchen outdoor kitchen back there also really big oversized living room over here going into your kitchen big oversized island i'll show you that in a second but down this hallway here you actually have a pantry there off to the right you have kind of your little mud room area and then your laundry room so again plenty of storage plenty of workspace here in the laundry room and this is actually just to the left behind me is where your garage entry is so you have that three car garage you would come in right there into that mud room slash laundry area and then walk over here into this kitchen so you can see you got those beautiful kitchen aid appliances double ovens there microwave ton of storage cabinet space overhead cabinet space under you got a six burner gas cooktop there and then over here into your dining room and that dining room you can see plenty of windows looking out there towards that backyard and then right here your big oversized island entertainment area i love you know maybe it's because my wife loves to cook and we love to entertain but people just kind of hanging around the kitchen island area is our favorite thing to do it's, it's just the camaraderie all your friends over it's a really really great thing but anyway we'll come back over here into this living room and then we're going to go ahead and go upstairs check out the game room the media room and then your two additional bedrooms up there also so go ahead and come up these stairs you see all this open railing is really cool and then you come right here to this big game room so they have it set up with this little seating area there off to the right then you have your ping pong table tv up there on the wall and again windows everywhere as i mentioned there's they use natural light so well in these homes and then right here off of the game room you have the big media room so you have this huge sectional plenty of space in here so if you wanted this i mean a lot of people i've seen use this actually as an office too because it's pretty private it's secluded um, but meant to be a media room and then that comes back out here towards the game room and then you can see down this hallway you're going to have your two additional bedrooms so you have your first bedroom here and again both of these bedrooms have their own bathroom so this one windows looking out to the front and then off here to the left you have the bathroom the attached bathroom so you're going to have a single sink here shower tub combo beautiful tile i mean toll brothers really really builds a great home and then if you build these from the ground up you'll have the option to select your finishes select your flooring your tile everything you want to do so you can really customize these homes the way that you want and this one's got a nice good size walk-in closet too so does the other bedroom that's right across the hall so they both have again attached bathroom walk-in closet plenty of space plenty of privacy for everyone in the family whatever whichever bedroom they have really no need to, for anyone to fight over a certain room because they're all great 
So you come over here, this is the fourth bedroom in this home, two upstairs, two downstairs. And again, coming this way, you have that walk-in closet straight ahead, which was locked. They had some stuff in there. Um, so you can't really see in there too well, but I wanna at least show you this bathroom. Again, shower tub combo, beautiful tile shower. This entire house is just amazing. But coming back out here, show you this closet real quick. You got a little walk-in closet there. And then we're gonna come back out here through this game room, go back downstairs. We'll check out the primary suite and the backyard. So one more look at this game room. Go ahead and check this out. This kind of reminds me of like, you know, having two kids myself. The kids are upstairs playing and you know, grandma comes through the front door, dad comes home or whatever. They can look down and yell and scream, hey, whatever. <laughs> Grandma's here, dad's home, whatever it is. And then go back to playing, right? But coming downstairs, you get back into this entryway. Little shot of me in the mirror trying to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> but coming across here, we'll go through this living area one more time and then over here into the primary suite. And this thing is beautiful. So you can see the big vaulted ceilings. You got that great accent wall behind the bed there and it looks out to that backyard. They have that pool out there, which is awesome as well. I'll show you that in a minute. But again, this is probably a king, California king size bed. You can see right in front, you have that little seating area, plenty of room for your dresser, room to walk by. Really, really great space in this primary. And then the ensuite. So you have your separate sink and vanity areas, that nice big soaking tub. Again, I, I wish I could show you better in these videos the size of these things, but that tub was actually a really good size. Um, they added in this little vanity area over here behind your sink areas next to your stand-up shower. Um, so again, really big oversized stand-up shower. You got that, I believe that's Carrera marble in that shower. And then over here to the left, you just have your little toilet area. And then coming back over here, you have your big walk-in closet. So you can see plenty of space in this closet. You have those built-in shelves there. You have some shelves on the other side as well. And then what's really cool in this closet is they added this additional storage space under the stairs. You can see there straight ahead. So a lot of times, you know, I don't know what you would use this for, but it's always nice just having additional space that's under that staircase. So normally that would probably just be closed off, but Toll Brothers decided, hey, let's open that up and maybe people can, you know, store stuff in there that they don't need every single day. But coming back out here through this primary one more time, we're gonna go back outside and I wish I could open up these sliders, but for whatever reason, they have these ones on an alarm system. So we'll kind of just walk by here and go through that door that's right there off the dining room. But you get the picture, you have these huge sliders, they open all the way up. And like I said, for whatever reason, the alarm goes off if those are opened. But we'll come around this way, open this side door up, and then come out here to this covered patio area. So you can see a huge covered patio area, nice big fan there. Um, great space just to kind of sit, hang out. My wife and I hang out on our patio all the time. It's actually one of my favorite things to do. And then they have this gorgeous pool set up, the outdoor kitchen with a covered area over it. And again, this one is a 60 foot lot. So it's actually a pretty big yard. So if you can imagine this all being grass um, when you move in, you know, obviously they won't, they don't build the pool or all this stuff for you. You can add this stuff afterwards. This will all just be a big, yard space but you can see here gorgeous outdoor kitchen i love that tile that they did there on the back and then this is kind of what woodson's known for is all the trees the forest vibe um just a beautiful beautiful community and then one more look kind of just looking back at the house outdoor kitchen dining area great pool beautiful beautiful home all right i wish i had this backyard right here this thing is amazing I love this kitchen, this pool, or outdoor kitchen, I should say, the pool. I don't know if you can hear me over the little water fountain features here, but we're gonna go inside and check out this price list and show you uh, what something similar to this home is going to cost when you build this out. And as I mentioned, um, all of these are going to be built within the coming months. So no inventory homes right now. So all of these prices are gonna be your base plan prices so let's check them out so to start as you can see right here this is the hardy floor plan the one that we just walked through you can see you have options to go to four to five bedrooms three to four and a half bathrooms a three car garage obviously it was two stories 34 45 plus square feet so if you add things on here you can add a bedroom add a bathroom you're going to be at a minimum 34 45 square feet 
and up. So this house we just walked through, this is the farmhouse edition, which starts at 632,995. This series, the Hardy series, starts at 620, as you can see right there. So completely done out with all the upgrades that are in this home that we just walked through. I did talk to the sales rep. He said, you're probably gonna be about 750-ish. There's about 100 grand in updates in this home. But the main thing I wanna show you here, so this collection, the 60-foot series, is called the Sycamore Collection. As you can see right here, there's a one-story plan, three to four beds, three to four baths, three-car garage still, one-story, 2,700 plus square feet. That one's starting right here at 567, basically 568. And then as you move over on this list here, you can see 605, 590, 607 here. And then the Lansing is 628. So you're basically starting here in the mid upper fives up into the sixes. And then if you're to do something out like this model home, we just walk through, you're looking up in the 700 range. So as you can see here, basically we'll call it around 600,000 is where you're gonna start for homes similar to this one. Um, not bad at all, especially compared, I mean, as you might know if you watch my channel often, uh, I'm from Los Angeles, Orange County area. A home like this would literally be multi-millions depending on where you live, um, but great, beautiful home. Let's go ahead and get out. As I promised, I was gonna show you some of the schools and the school ratings to this area. So I'll see you over there, let's check that out. So that floor plan on that two story is amazing. Um, my favorite thing, honestly, is the fact that every single bedroom has its own private ensuite bathroom. So that is actually something I'm getting a big request for lately. And what's super cool about Toll Brothers and right here in Woodson's Reserve is like I said, they're building out these phases. So right now they haven't started the next phase, but they're about to release the lots. So if you like these homes, if you like this area and you want to build from scratch, they're at the point right now where you can essentially go into the office there and build out your house from scratch. You can add in bathrooms, you can add in bedrooms, you can kind of twerk the home to make it exactly what you want before they start building it. So really cool opportunity right now to build these types of home right here with Toll Brothers. So we're gonna talk about the amenities um, in Woodson's Reserve, and we're gonna talk about the schools that this area is zoned to. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll start with the amenities. You can see right here, um, Woodson's Reserve, this is kind of what you see right when you drive in. So you have the main road that comes back here, uh, about a block or two in, you have the main amenity center. So this is where the, the pool's right behind there. You have that little um, catch and release um, fishing pond out there also the gym is inside there I'm going to show you all that right now so if we get over here so amenities that building is called Woodson's Club so Woodson's Club you can see there's like an outdoor dining area here here's a great photo of it so you have the, actually the gym is right inside here you have this little outdoor dining sitting area you have this little catch and release fishing area right here into this pond really really amazing the pools back here too I'm going to show you that in a second so this is, you know, right there off of that patio, you can see that looks out towards that water right there. So kind of just like a little hangout seating area. People come out here just to kind of sit around, chit chat, just enjoy each other's company. Really, really cool. And you got this big outdoor area here overlooking that pond. And then just, you know, seats everywhere. Kind of redundant pictures here, but <laughs> you get the point. Um, really, really nice amenity center right there. And then you have the pool, which is just on the other side of there too. So you have your resort style pool, you have a lazy river, and there's actually a lap pool too, which is up here on this section back here. So you have this resort style pool. You actually got this little spot right here for kids to kind of hang out and play. You got the lazy river. Here's the lap pool also. So you have kind of this little seating area off to the side, a little shallow spot. And then you have the lap pool and then the main pool back there. And like I said, you have this little area right here where it's only about a foot deep. So if you have little ones, they can kind of play on this little area here. And then just kind of one more shot of the Lazy River and the whole little setup that they have there is really, really cool. And then the other thing we're gonna check out, we'll check out some pictures of the fitness center. So again, this is all inside of that big main building. You have a 24 hour fitness center and it's actually really, really nice. So you have, you know, your, you have your cardio machines back here. You have some free weights. Um, you have your rack system right here and then you have your kind of I don't really know what they're called, but resistance training type pulley weight system here. I'm not really sure what they're called. I usually just do free weights, but yeah, so really, really nice gym. And it's great that you get 24 hour access to this. 
Um, and then really cool too, since it is attached, um, let me see if there's any images here, but there's actually doors that go out to that area there. So you can see they have this um, woman here doing yoga right out there next to that water area. Just really, really beautiful, thoughtful layout that they did here in this whole building. Then you have your nature trails kind of all throughout the community. So a, a really big thing that they're doing in Woodsons and like the Highlands, a lot of these communities on the north side, the north side of Houston is really known for its woodsy vibe and all the trees. It's one of the big draws to the Woodlands, one of the big draws to the Kingwood area too on the north side. And that's what they're doing here in Woodsons. They're kind of leaving the nature. A lot of these developers come in and like tear down all the trees and then just slap up a bunch of houses. They don't really do that here. They're really incorporating the community into the nature. So you have all your nature trails. Again, it's pretty much all snaked throughout the entire community. These are just a few pictures of what you can expect. So, you know, you basically ride your bikes all around the pond area. There's walking trails everywhere. There's some dog parks also um, just Kind of if you're an outdoorsy person, you like walking, you like fishing, you like um, just kind of exploring nature and feeling like you're in nature while you're out and about, this is a great area for you. And then the dog park as well. I think I just mentioned that, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty a straightforward dog park. It's a fenced in area. Um, they do have separate areas for big dogs. You can see this, the large dog area, 30 pounds and over, um, which is where I would be hanging out with my German Shepherd. But you have your dog park also. One quick thing before we get to the schools, this is just real quick, I wanna show you the builders are TriPoint and Toll Brothers, which is what we looked at today. So Toll Brothers, you can see on their website, both of them are saying that they're starting in the 400s. There's a new 45 foot section that's coming out and both of these builders are gonna be starting those in the fours. I actually talked to TriPoint today. Um, I know the sales reps there, so I work very closely with them. They just got the prices on those and they're actually starting in the high 300s and their biggest floor plan for these 45 foot section is about 450, she told me. And then once you add everything options and you make it what you want it, probably gonna be around the 475 range. So. This is kind of new to this Woodson's community. Most of it is really high-end um, stuff, which it's a beautiful community. Um, so it's actually pretty cool that they're starting to build this 45 section between these two builders and get into a lower price point uh, where your kind of average family can afford. The average home price sold right now in Houston is right around 400,000. So when you look at just numbers, your average person is shopping right around this price range. Okay, so let's get to the schools. This again is a question I get probably the most about any community. When people call about Cypress, Katy, Kingwood, Pearland, Tomball, wherever we're at, the Woodlands, everybody always asks about schools. What are the school ratings? Um, as I mentioned, I'm not allowed to steer in any way or say this is good, this is bad, or any of that. So what I do, I just show you data, right? So this is the schools. They actually just opened this on-site elementary school, um, Heinz Elementary here. And then you have Snyder Elementary. Obviously we just said Heinz Elementary, Clark Intermediate, and York Junior High. Um, so going over here, one thing I like to pull up is niche.com. So this is a great resource if you're just looking for information on any city or town that you're looking at. Just go on niche.com and search it and you can pretty much find all the details that you're looking for. So right here on niche.com, Woodson's is actually zoned to Conroe ISD, which is, you can see right here, number one in best school districts in Montgomery County, A overall grade here on niche, A in academics, A teachers, A clubs and activities, A in diversity, A plus college prep, A minus administration. Main thing I wanna show you on here though, when you go on this website, you can pull up this map. And what I like about the map is you can see exactly where we're looking. So Woodson's Reserve is right here. And then you can see the schools and the school ratings. So it's super easy to get on here and pull up this map and find the schools that you're looking for. So as we said, we had Clark Intermediate, Snyder Elementary, York Junior High, um, Cox Intermediate. Um, and those are your schools, I believe. Let's go back over here. Yeah, you had Snyder, Hines, Clark, and York. And then the high school, which isn't here on niche.com for some reason, it's been open for a few years. I would have thought it had been on here by now. It's actually just right over here and it's called Grand Oaks High. So if we go over here, you can see Grand Oaks High. This thing is beautiful, by the way. It looks like a college campus. You can see on these pictures, 
Uh, actually, let me go back here and I'll show you some of these images. But you can see it from Highway 99 when you're driving by Woodson's Reserve. It's right there in the front. And I mean, you look at this place and when I first saw it when we moved here, I, I literally thought it was a college. I was like, what is that college right there? But it turns out it's a high school and it turns out that's just how they build high schools out here in Texas. Um, so really, really great. Also highly rated um, school right here. So there's actually a great shot of the high school. You can see the football field, the baseball field, all that. And then Woodson's is actually continuing. So the next phases are all gonna be back here behind the school. Um, and it, right now it's all this area over here. Like if this picture zoomed out even further, you would see it better. Um, but all this back here is gonna be the, the whole Woodson's development that's gonna be continued out for a few more years too. So again, if y'all would go ahead and hit that like button for me real quick. That pretty much brings us to the end. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope I was able to give you some good value. That's really what I do this for. You know, I have a ton of people calling me and I take your questions and things you guys are asking me to do or show or this or that. And I really try to give it to you up front in these videos so that when you're doing your research or you're watching this video, you can see it here without even like really having to reach out or having to put too much effort into something, right? So that's why I do this. So I really, really hope that it provides you with some good value. Um, and if it did, hit that like button for me again. That helps me out so much. It really pushes it out to um, a lot of people that are looking for this info. So it actually helps me, but it helps a ton of other people also that are watching or searching for content like this. They might be thinking about moving to Houston. They can come across it. They can reach out. I can help them make the move out here to Houston. So again, I'll stop it all right there. But as always, I appreciate you. God bless you. I'll see you on the next one.